we're on the internet. Welcome to the internet. Uh, give me one second. I got the chat bot into the chat. Uh, people are not immediately watching, which is uh, the routine, but for the VOD, let me get stuff sorted. I'm installing a game that we are we have announced uh, on the old stream. We're gonna play this game called Pre Simulator Heavy Duty. Uh, this is a free game. It's a game that is supposed to be a sandbox of randomness. Where you play as a vampire priest. We'll see what happens. Uh, they recommend this game. Uh, they being Steam for me because I've played Postal 2. And if there's anything like that, then we'll see how that goes. Cooper is awake and not sleeping. Go to bed, little Cooper. He's laying down. He sleeps. Anyway, he's working on it. He's working on his sleep. Okay. Let me see here. Where are we? We're on the intermission screen while I am installing this game. It is about a minute away from finishing this install. We'll play this game for a little bit tonight. I don't know if people are doing things for the holidays, so I don't expect to stream super long unless we get a bunch of people around. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend, so hopefully you're doing something in, uh, well, in the United States anyway. It's Memorial Day weekend. So hopefully you all are doing something to remember fallen soldiers who had uh, served to protect and serve our country. All right, this install is finished. It is done. Okay, now. This is a game I don't expect a whole lot of people to watch me play on stream <laughs> uh, there's no avatar for it whenever I picked it on the uh, the stream list I bet if we looked at people playing this game on stream on Steam or sorry on stream on Twitch right now it'd probably be pretty low I don't know anyway we're gonna switch. oh yeah hey Ben how you going how you doing oh yeah look at that it's so relevant to my shirt right now look at that that's such a clever you kind of saw him probably a little bit when I was leaning backwards yeah, there he is. I, I completely forgot I had this shirt on. Yeah, that's right. Hey, okay. So let me switch over to the main screen. I don't have the green screen hooked up again tonight. It has been a whirlwind of trying to get stuff done. Um, this is a little tighter than I normally do. I think we have this one that we normally do. Yeah, it shows a little bit more of me. I don't know if that's necessary. What do you think? That one? Or this one. This one's okay. I think that one's fine. Um, a little bit less of my hand gestures. All right, we'll go back. We'll go back. Yeah, that'll work because then you can see my hands more and I guess my Lisa's boots in the background and the stuff behind me. All right, anyway, we're going to start this game. I have no idea what to expect. I think it's a Polish developer. And uh, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully this will work. Looking for game, there it is. Look, I already got an achievement called I Wanna Rock. We'll pick slot one. This says is that you're a vampire priest. I have no idea. This game is gonna be bizarre. Uh, I'm gonna turn the audio down just a little bit. Is that too much? It's probably good. Audio language we would like we recommend playing the Polish voiceover. Why is that? Why would we do that? I want to stick with English. Okay. Start. Maybe we go and we play this a little bit in English and then we go and we play it in Polish. I don't speak uh, Polish and Asmo Dev Two. It's interesting on the stream. It's like it's like a very black background, and on what I see it on on the front, it doesn't look like that at all. 
Asmo Asmo Dev presents. What is these graphics? Quella? Orlock. Is he a is he a vampire farmer? Mortimer, which is like a Slenderman. Patrick Bomba Booma. The Shatanist. Christianists. What is this? Disban. Nostradamus. Oh, he's not known his face looks like. Okay. The Countess Dogford. Uh, Victor. Is it like Nosferatu is Dogferatu or something? Crimla. Bums. It's like made out of wood. Asmoda. Through all the characters, I guess. Sub versus dub argument, I'm sure. Oh, uh, probably. That's a good point. Hi, it's Quella. I'm starting a new business. I'm going to travel the world and film all kinds of fucked up situations. Okay. I chose Santeville as my first choice. This is where a chili eating competition is organized this year. Everybody's personal favorite candidate for victory is Victor Gelatin. Victor Gelatin. What is this game? I like how it's like the filter on this is like a, I guess it's supposed to be like a CRT on like a web, on a, like a security camera? Or is it like, what, what is this filter? The chili eating competition is an extremely popular competition. The village has arranged a free shuttle bus that runs around the clock. I'm I loving these character you, designs, yeah. I guess these are the what is here. this look I'm sitting among strange gloomy guys nobody's speaking I think they are a bit embarrassed by this I love person. the Hello, Mr. driver my name is Quella and I'm an influencer making a report on the chili eating competition what is it like to like transport the world's spiciest people aren't you afraid of fire <laughs> hey freeloader what are you doing on my boss I want my money up front uh money but it's I love a their accent. opportunity for they're you to promote yourself. Do you take part in a competition or are you just d like driving like that all day? I'm not a circus man. I'm a businessman. I clean up dead bodies and distribute them within the cemetery. Wait, uh, are you saying that you're the chili is made of human dead flesh. bodies? Who's there to say no to the rich? Get the fuck out of my heels, you unbaptized weirdo. Oh my gosh, the, the dialogue is riveting. The graphics, the weird CRT filter that I And who have you got there? The chili eating contest victims! Christianists, Shaitanists, Shaitanists! Throw them into the cesspit. Like I wouldn't know that! What is happening? What is happening in this game? Did the whole bus got absorbed? Let's not kid ourselves. People are not equal. You can't treat them all the same way. You're either a Christianist or a shitanist. Or a bum. Uh, um, okay, but why so many victims among competitors? That's because of the lack of proper preparation. Proper. Victor uses the most trendy training techniques, like eating nails. He also maintains a proper diet. Uh, and what does proper. this diet consist of? Nails. I'd like to meet Victor Gelatin. Do you think I could talk to him? Unfortunately, Victor has disappeared. Lost? Does this mean the what competition is cancelled? Victor was only a competitor. You better talk to Father Olok. Ever since people stopped going to church, he is their favorite. If he doesn't want to cooperate, tell him I said hello. What is this game? Alright, let me see if I can adjust the filters. Can we adjust the graphics? Motion blur off, bloom off, F FOV, uh, let's do 90. Why I why can't I not turn off that ugly, horrible filter? All right, we hit close. Oh, it says we're recording with our camera. I can understand why they want you to listen to it in Polish. Yeah, I think it's because, of course, the voice acting, they know that they- And enjoy a reek of vodka, what the fuck it means. Uh, of th they're confident in their, you know, Polish versus their. Fuck off! I gotta work with you. Talk, speak to or Orlock. Look, there's, there's waypoints. I am nobody. Wait, are they the same? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Is he Virgus? I believe in God. Pitchforks, what is happening? Let him be praised. Are you smoking a tortilla? What's inside? Gunpowder, cyanide, and nails. My name is Quella. Apparently, you are going to win this year's chili eating competition. Have you ever taken part in this type of event before? If I did, you certainly would have already heard about me. So it was the absence of a legend that influenced your decision? I would be participating even if I had to compete with Kojira. Victor's absence merely lessens the triumphs. It's believed that gelatin achieves unearthly results not only from gasoline injections and volcanic baths, but also from illegal drugs. The higher you aim, the more it hurts to fall. I'm gonna win this at full stretch. What prompted you to take such a, a risky risk? Uh, I mean, engaging in eating lethal peppers isn't the exactly the liability of the church. You want to rescue a sewer diver? Then prepare for a shitstorm. The more respect people pay you, the more opportunities arise. It's not my fault the Orkies are repressed by gobbling up chili peppers. What is this game? Um, you could say you're a wolf in sheep's clothing following lost sheep, right? You could say the bishop will give me the boot if I'm not gonna make people come to church one way or another. What a sacrifice! Will you allow me to accompany you during your preparations? I am shooting a shoot from this event. She I already shoot. told you, it's the splendor that counts. I won't expose myself to your journalistic manipulations. The grave digger says it's a good idea. Maybe we can help each other. They want to get rid of me, cause ever since I became a priest, the arms and drug I, smoke has priests. been flourishing Not in Sandeville. There has also been an increase in the number of deaths and possessions. The bishop sees only the negatives, though. We will document a slice of priest's life. Father Orlock wants to prove that his work is a thankless routine. We've got to open people's eyes, because later, it'll be too late. She's apparently some famous streamer. Her likes apparently. mean my splendor. Maybe she will bring people back to our church. What the heck is this game? I'm gonna give it, what, oh, there's fists now? Get the mop from the basement. I feel like I bust the glass. Open the doors. F. You are blocking the door. Is it this? What am I looking for? The mop. Brush. Hold to open action select panel. Press the currently selected action. Press to use the currently selected action. Amen. <laughs> to do clean the walls of the basement oh I see I understand All right, that's one social work I'm getting XP right now what do I do with those am I supposed to do that is there a bucket I can move? Are these batteries? So there must be something else over... Oh, here. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking stuff. This is like a visual cleanup detail without a visual... Yeah, I... So far, so far, that's exactly what this is. Uh, a 
What else do I have to do? What am I, am I cleaning this up? Clean up the basement? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, we gotta break it? Can I just do this? Oh my gosh, can I crouch in this game? What's the, what's the controls? Jump, move forward, action. Wait, you can't crouch? How am I supposed to attack, interact with the hot dogs? Oh, you just have really long reach. Yeah, by punching them, we are cleaning out the basement. Break those pickles. Smack the TV. We've cleaned up the basement. We've cleaned up the damn mess after the last youth meeting. Those fucking Christianist students just leave behind a mess and steal the relics. Very few people are aware that it is usually the so-called churchman who is responsible for cleaning the church. But in Sondeville, it's the priest, me, who else would have cleaned it up? The bishop. If Orlok ate the relics, he would win this chili competition. Because relics just work like that. The thing is, they were stolen, uh, so uh, he's very angry now. And the confessional was also stolen from him. Uh, it's only a matter of time until he builds a new one. He just needs to use the confessional blueprint. It's not that bad. I, I, I think it's quite okay with this. <clears throat> The problem is they stole the blueprint I need to build a confessional. What the hell is this game? <sighs> Wait, I have to go up there? I feel, what? what? What is what what is this map? Can we go outside. Is there another way to go? Oh, this door's open now. It wasn't open earlier. This is dizzying. Welcome. Oh, I'm blocking the door, but I broke it. Hey, this is a hookah. Do I need to do this? Or is this what's gonna happen? Oh no! Oh, I got XP. Oh shoot! Is she doing mocap? What is happening? This is so dumb. Dead wife was watching. First his wife, then he. Tragic. Tell me something. Why was his wife buried in the ground and he sealed in a crypt? Something to do with family tradition, a superstition of some sort. Oh. Well, I love that I'm just the breaking the doors as I open them. Oh, I need this. Then, as two of his mourners left his what, final what? resting Gloves? place. <laughs> hey, am I getting XP? Wait, is that a bug? Oh, we just found a bug. Look at us, they're ranking up. Oh, wait, no. Stop. What's on my hands? Wait, I have weapons now? Telekinesis? What is this game? Press the throw, F to drop, press the grab. Some attacks like being hit with a heavy object lock out enemies for a while. Cause it's not fair to kick a man when he's down. Knocked out enemies are immune to damage until they start getting up. Minutes later, led by Inspector Daniel Clay. Oh, that's got a limited amount of ammo. Who found them? Man and girl. Maybe they can uh, examine the main round yet? 
Just left. Okay. The morgue wagon will come along most any time. You get uh, this, Stephen? Yeah, as much as we could. There. I can't. I gotta scared. find things I gotta interact with. Finding a mess like Leave the church, it says. Have one, other boy. I think we're in full priest mode now. Pressed. I think he, got, he was called pressed. You're so yolk you keep breaking doors when you open them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. What? Alright, here we go. Click offerings from Christians, Christianists in the church area. After each offering, you must wait for a while before other offer another offering is possible from the same follower. What is this? Save us from evil! Did he give me anything? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear Help no me, evil. I've got no the silver cell. has left his skillet floor. Insert a coin. Insert a coin. To me, shall say. Help me, I've got no soul to sell. Help me, I've got no soul to sell. Why is it like this? I am nobody. Can I borrow 30 bucks? Where is my car? Oh, oh shit. You agree? Are you dead? Is this game? Insert coin would be good over audio remote. remote. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. Cruise of fuck. Can I borrow 30 bucks? I never dream it of yada. Can I borrow 30 bucks? Give me the A. Give me the M. Give me the E. Give me the S. Amen. I was just very confused about what she was doing there just now. It goes so quick. Can I borrow 30 bucks? Now he's only saying, can I borrow 30 bucks? Can I borrow 30 bucks? Oh my god! Even though I walk through the valley of the it's shadow of cold. death, I will fear no evil. Insert a coin. Now we've inserted a coin. Can I borrow 30 bucks? Sticky fingers. Help me, I've got no soul to sell. Priest power, summoning a vehicle. What? What? Uh, this action allows you to call your, your vehicle when there's an active drop zone nearby. You can also reset the car's position. Uh, okay, what do I do? Summon the car, C. Uh, hang crosses around the village. Right, we'll do this one really quick because it's the closest one that we'll get in our car, I guess. <laughs> oh shit, we're battling. Oh shit, they're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Eat shit. And explode. Uh, is there, isn't there a. To war with this ah! motherfucker. I'll good for you. So I can't call my vehicle here. I'm gonna place a cross. Don't we want it like this? Right. We've done it. We've done that one. Get in our car. Let's get in our car mobile, our priest mobile. Why are there? Okay. Oh. This. Looks like I'm playing Arma. This car right now.
Help me, I've got no soul to sell. Great Insert mom. a coin. Big flash. Big more piss less. What are these lines of dialogue? I can't imagine. Oh, we're, it's time to battle. Moron. How come I can't use my priest powers? Drink more, piss less. Oh, he's bad for me. Out of the eyes. Out of the eyes. You douchebag. I'm going to just screw it. Out of the eyes. Oh. It's, 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 it's real. Drugs too. Can we eat my cookie? Can you get XP for destroying. There is no job for an expert like me. There is no job for an expert like him. Oh, he's a moron. He Out of the eyes! Haha, <laughs> you missed! For an expert like me. The combat you is a moron. moron. You douchebag! I'll destroy you! You felt that, right? <laughs> I'm dead. You gonna fight me? Oh, I see. Well, I'm just gonna run to the next area. I don't think I'm gonna take my car because it's like really hard to see. Um, can I like? I cannot do that. Okay. Is this a toilet? Okay, so you get money. You get. Uh, change the game. Okay. There's you. There you go. We are gonna be changing the game right now. church. Hopefully that means quit. Alright. <clears throat> what do you think? What did you think of Priest Simulator Heavy Duty? I'm actually going to uninstall this game. <laughs> like, what in the world was that? Well, to be honest, that's all I had planned for tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, actually, uh, that was the only game I had, like, I was in the process of installing. 100% refund. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, it's going to be on my list of games that I own now, but, I mean, I guess I could remove it. It was weird, but I was digging it. Yeah, you know, anyway, it's uh, it's free, so if anybody wants to try it out. Okay, so, so Ben says retain. You know, the gameplay, I mean, it was weird. I thought it was fun to kind of explore that. It seemed very floaty when you were jumping around and combat was floaty. Uh, there is no real difficulty on the combat. It's kind of weird. Um, but I was kind of wondering what where this thing was going to go next. Hold on, there's a spider on my wall. Give me a second. I'm going to kill it with my phone. So now it's dead. Uh, if I don't clean it up, Lisa's going to kill me. So give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm only going to step away from the camera while I grab a tissue. Uh, this is the spider killing intermission between games. Okay. There we go. Probably should have installed Beyond Two Souls. You know, the thing about that game is it's like a it's like a long investment in time. Um, and I'm not going to do that now because it's 43 gigabytes. Uh, 
I wanted to see if I still had the Batman game installed, which I do, which I don't necessarily want to do the Batman. It's been so while, such a long time since we played it. We try to finish Shadows of the Empire. Um, random fact. Well, well, let me transition my screen over to this camera. Or maybe, uh, what about what about this one? Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Um, while we look for a game to play. Uh, so random fact, uh, let's see. Well, my, my, my parents, well, my, my dad and my stepmother came out to visit us today. And, uh, and Cooper was pretty pumped. He was constantly waving at them, even though they were like in the house for quite some time. And um, did some repairs to a downspout drain uh, underneath our deck. Did that. Didn't take very long. Um, and went to um, a place in Morgantown called Vaughn Blaze. It's a new restaurant in town. And I had like the best, probably one of the best uh, French sets of like orders of French fries in my entire life today. It was um, a tray. I think of like a, like a tray that you'd put like a cookie sheet in the oven. Cooper is still talking to himself. And the tray was probably about 10 to 12 inches long, maybe a little bit more. It's probably it's probably 12 to 14 to be honest. And they loaded that whole tray up with french fries. And it was $7 for these french fries. And on the french fries they had some special sort of parmesan garlic sauce and they had sprinkled parmesan cheese on it so it melted on top. And they had like some chives and things and i would have to say like that dressing sauce whatever you want to call it, dipping sauce which wasn't really a dipping sauce because it was all over my um fries was like freaking amazing like i haven't ha had anything like that ever um the portion of fries when it came out and they sat in front of me i mean that could have been just a meal i'm not that i wanted to just eat french fries the whole time because i had a salad too but insane um they have like five different flavors of french fry stuff like one that i got was the parmesan garlic they had like the plain stuff they had like this buffalo style one and all kinds of different things so i thought that was fun we we went there with cooper and uh my my parents and, and lisa and and it was hard to get through the the, the sitting down process as you uh may know ben um trying to take a little kid out to dinner or lunch or whatever it, it, it varies in like how well it goes like sometimes if there's not a whole lot for them to look at or do or um be interested in then they just get tired and don't want to be there um, well at least with cooper the problem was that he was about 30 minutes in before he was ready to take a nap and he was pretty much done early because we stopped by a playground today before my uh, my dad and my stepmom came into town. So that was uh, probably not, it was a good idea. We had fun, but it was not the best idea in the sense that he was ready to take a nap early. And so he made our lives pretty difficult um, while we were there trying to eat in. But it was it was still a good time. The food was great. Let's see. A game. What is this? What is this game? Is this all in English? Oh, we should try this one out. Let me take a look at this. Puzzle games. Oh, is this like super static and boring? This is pretty. This says. Let's try it. We're going to try this game out. A sleepy toddler at a restaurant is always rough. Yeah, it is. And it's a pain because, like, you know, the high school was graduating um, in town. I don't know which. I mean, it was both high schools. I don't know which one. But, you know, so we get into this restaurant. Lisa's, like, not expecting to have to do reservations for this place. And it was not, like, a very – I didn't think this place did reservations. We got there. I started walking toward the back and like it looked like a place that you kind of sat yourself 
and it gets a small place. So when I walk back toward the tables, the uh, and like you know my parents and Lisa are just kind of standing toward the front. I'm carrying like the Cooper bag, and the one of the wait- waitresses come over and it was like, "Hey, uh, did you have a reservation?" And I said, "No." <laughs> I said I didn't realize you guys did reservations, and because again like it just didn't feel like that kind of place. And she's like, oh, yeah, these are reserved for uh, a party of, like, I don't know what it was, eight or something. She's like, oh, we have a bunch of reservations today because of uh, the high school graduation. And I'm like, cool, great. Um, How long before I can sit down? Because, you know, with a little kid, as you know, like, you don't want to be standing around waiting to sit down either because they're going to get frustrated and they want to, like, do something. And thankfully, there was one group of people that were getting ready to leave, so we took their seats uh, once they were, you know, checked out and everything. Food was great. the The venue space and the seating and stuff like that was small and not really necessarily cozy, um, but the food was excellent. And is what it is what it is. And I, do you remember? And not that I can remember what the hell I did in high school graduation when I was a senior, because that was way too long ago like what almost 20 years ago (laughs) um what do you freaking do you go out to lunch i don't remember going out to lunch on a saturday like who did you did you do that i don't think i did anything like that i think i had like a celebratory like graduation cake at the house whenever we got done with graduation which was probably on a weekend or something and I do remember like having like a little cake thing and that was it. Like, I don't think we did anything special. Like, I, I don't know. I just seemed like, oh, oh, everyone's so busy at this restaurant because all these high school graduations are coming in. I don't know. All right, we're going to try a game called Framed Collection. I guess it says, it says, rearrange a panels of animated comic book to craft a story of a noir style Spy Adventure and a Frame Collection, which is games framed and framed too. This came out in 2018. I think this was part of a bundle. Um, if we think it's crap quickly, we will quit it quickly, uh, and we will try to install something else. Is it? Oh, this game. Oh, that's fun. What is this? All right, we will come back to that later. I don't want to get distracted. Let's scroll up to the top here, and I will switch my cameras. We gotta switch the game too. So that was that was my fun fact. Um, we we had a good time though. Oh, this is a freaking mobile game, based on the category descriptions. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try it out. I got it installed. Why not? Uh, you, oh, I missed your other chat earlier, Ben. You said. The key is to not put them in the high chair until food comes. That's exactly what we did. I'm late. Was pre was pre simulator a refund or a retain? Chat seems like like it was split. Um, ben liked it, and uh, you know, Lone Wolf wasn't a fan. He actually spent ten thousand points for us to stop playing it. So I think he had enough. Um, I, I personally thought it was okay. If I had to be like, you know, absolute about it, I would probably say it's a refund um, because the voice acting was bad, but I get it. It was developed in Poland and they just had to go with the punches on the English. Um, but it also added like a layer of humor to it, which was fun. But like the gameplay was very blah. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't very fun. All right, here we go. We're going to switch to this. We're going to go to this, and we're going to run this game and play a mobile game, apparently. It's trying. It's trying so bad. Will this game work? (sighs) There it goes. All right, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to turn the audio level down a little bit. That looks good. Ooh, the... Jazz. You know what? Screw frame one. Should we jump into frame two? Because you know it's going to be a better game, right? We're doing it. 
Watch this. Miss something very important. Alright, alright, I've seen enough. Alright, what do we do? Whoa. I, thought was, I thought it was a bra for a second and not a pair of sunglasses. What do we do? Do I pick my glasses or pick the person? What is happening? We just said order it. Is he a spy? He's spying it up. a spy I want to know how the mill cap works with this game do you have to be you have to act quickly before he dies we're gonna do this right Wait, we have to do what what's happening oh shit oh I see and then we do this can I swap it is he gonna die? So game over. Wait. So do you have to do this? Oh, I see now. All right, we're gonna give this a little bit more time, but then we're gonna switch. Switch it. Out. Oh, it's gonna get more challenging. This is literally just trial and error. Oh, so it's just three. It's just three pieces. So he can climb the ladder, and then at the top of the ladder, I guess he'll see like this, then this maybe. I mean, again, it's trial and error, right? Oh, he's dead. Will he hop down? There we go. That's what we want. Okay, well, this is a game. I just want to see, like, getting through this first part. Oh, is he gonna die here? Wait, are you effing kidding me? I had to restart that? Oh, I had to be at the bottom. So we need to do this, this, and then hop down. Okay, that's what we So now we've got um, to wait, I guess. Oh, you can fast forward up here, it looks like. Why would he go down? Because he was already up? Now he's gonna die. All right, fast forward your death, you scrub tier. So he's already at the top, then he comes down the ladder. This is what we want. Faster, faster. I like the music. Uh, this was not what I had in mind when I came to this puzzle type of game, but so be it. Oh shoot! We just swap this bad boy. What? So you gotta do it twice, is that why? That's so stupid. Hold it, stop, freeze the game, hit escape, and hit menu, and hit quit. There is framed, that's framed, that's framed. All right, we're not, we're not playing frames. Um, and it looks like it was a cell phone game. Less than a gig. Uh, what do you know? All right, so let's hop back down into some of the other games we have listed by Felicia. Yeah, that, that was, uh, you know, maybe if you're sitting on a bus and you're flicking some panels and you're wanting to play something like that. Oh, yeah, Sunset Overdrive. Is that any good? Quantum Break, is that any good? Um, some of these games are a little bit too big to install on stream right now. This one's uh, 68 gigs. This one's 72. 
Maybe we should be playing uh, playing some of these games uh, next week. Cause I don't know anything about Metro. I know that Metro is uh, popular, right? I remember Quantum Break being popular. Sunset Overdrive is really good. Okay. Yeah, I only have uh, one person that I know that's uh, played it. Oh, yeah, remember With You? I w if we can get Lisa down here, that'd be great. Um, right now, she's planting um, a couple of her plants outside before the d dark, which is probably now. It is dark out. And um, she also should be hopefully coming downstairs. I don't know. Oh, that Midnight Ghost Hunt game, that is now out, by the way. I don't, think, I don't know if I mentioned that. Squadrons, freaking Phasmophobia. Oh, my goodness. What are all these other... Oh, remember when we played Bigfoot? When we, remember when we did that? What a game. Ah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything else prepped at the moment. I it, It's been... Uh, been something crazy oh freaking galactic battlegrounds i bet you that's probably clunky as heck there's always the retro game site oh yeah i forgot about the retro game site maybe we should do that um let's pull that up do you remember the website name i have to i have to dig through the links if you know it off your top of your head let me know and that would be super helpful what is this Cognition method in initiation. What is this? Did we play this already? I feel like we did play this already. Oh, we did. This is that puzzle game. I remember this. Yeah, I finally uninstalled GTA 5. Classic reload. That's it. We'll grab that. Let me just sneak a little bit more peeks through here. Okay, these are all games we've either played on stream or cannot play on stream or games that I haven't played in a very long time. These ones up here, though, are games that were part of that bigger bundle. Um, there are a couple games on here that are not uh, kosher, and there's a lot of freaking cell phone looking games on here, too. Um, so, that being said, we might just go to a different status on the stream, which is going to be retro. Done. What's Treasure Hunter Simulator? That sounds boring. All right, we're going to click this link, get that loaded on a separate tab. Just kind of see what else. Here. Book of Demons. Look at this. That's uh, not a game I'm going to play. Uh, I've heard good things about Tooth and Tail. Have you guys heard of uh, Tooth and Tail? Um,. I've heard that this is a fun little um, kind of strategy adventure thing, um, but not not today. All right. So, what is there any specific games um, on the classic reload we should try out? Amnesia, and uh, I'd like to play Rebirth at some point on stream. That would be good. Oh, freaking skull girls you want to see, watch me play fighter games how big is that one why is a fighter game a 2d fighter 11 gigs what is that about looks fun which game skull girls skull girls is like a pretty good fighter kind of has the feels like marvel versus capcom well what we can do is we can uh, prep install this and then watch myself get my butt kicked. I'll prep install this. I'll make an I, uh, a note on the stream. While we're installing this, we will play Classic Reload. And if at any point you feel that the stream is dipping or the quality is crap, Tooth and Tail looks fun. Oh, okay. Tooth and Tail, <laughs> not Skullgirls. Um, We're going to let that install. We're going to let that install anyway. Tooth and Tail, we'll prep that too. Where is that? Where did I see that? You know, another one too that looked pretty interesting. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Uh, is it 
this one? Is this, is this the top down or what is this? Oh, Smash TV. Yeah, this is the top down one. This one kind of interesting. Um, and for whatever reason, the videos aren't loading. All right, so tooth and tooth and tooth and tooth and tooth. Let's do that really quick. Do an install there. That one will be quick. We will play some of these while the other two install. So we've got PC games. I think they have uh, Sega Genesis games, Windows 3.x, um, Arcade, and ZX Spectrum. I always feel like, as a kid, I always had the consoles. So Sega Genesis games, stuff like that. I feel like I'm overly familiar with those. Whereas with um, like some classic arcade games, not so much. But with um, PC games, like when we were playing some of those goofy... Like the JFK, what if JFK survived thing? Um, I did. I, I never got exposed to a lot of those games as a kid, and I think it would have been a game. Those uh, a good time. Oh, Killer Instinct. Freaking Jackie Chan, the Kung Fu Master. Wait a minute. I feel like I've seen this game before. King of Monsters. You know, I've never. I don't think I've ever played King of Monsters in the arcade. I have seen the heck out of King of Monsters. If you ever watched the uh, video game uh, game show called Nick Arcade, they always had King of Monsters as one of the game, games to play. I swear. Not always, but like a lot of times. Looking through here. Pit Fighter. That was the one I used to see at the movie theater a lot. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. That was the follow-up to the other... Um, um, What's that called? Vector graphics style game. Tron is excellent. Uh, Zebus is pretty fun. All right, let's look. We gotta check out Jackie Chan. What is this? This looks amazing to me. This was like a uh, live mocap. It's downloading the game data. I probably should unplug my controller. Tooth and Tail. I think Tooth and Tail is probably one of those games too that require a little bit more um, uh, of a learning curve, I think, where you have to learn some of the basic mechanics of combat and all that other fun stuff. Let me get my my knobs, my joystick knobs put on. Look, this game is still loading up. Is there audio for this game? Oh, there it is. I'm Jackie Chan, this is my game. I'm Jackie Chan. This is my game. Like, I didn't know. Why is it, like, shitting the bed right now? Alright. Oh my gosh. How do I play? Insert coin. How do I insert a coin? Am I, is it happening? How do I enter the coin? Kim Marie versus Thorsten. This is this is just the AI. But what 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 this is amazing. How do I insert a coin? I'm hitting every button on the controller right now. I'm gonna reload this page. Wait a minute. Yeah, I wanna reload this page. We'll hit start, let that load. Make sure I probably didn't have my controller plugged in in time for that to rec recognize it. And then it caused some desync there. All right. What is that Jackie Chan game, though? That's so fun. It's bizarre. In case you need to play Connect 4 on Windows 3.x, they got you right here. They got the hookup. Lisa always talks about battle chess. She loves battle chess. I, I, I shit you not. <laughs> Oh, Lisa was telling me about this game called Kids Desk. Is this in alphabetical order? Oh, the Coops. He turned his little sound machine on. He's having a hard time sleeping. He turned JK, L, and the P. We went too far. It's Kids Desk. Oh, it's not here. It was a Windows 3.1 thing, I think. 
If Kids Desk was on here, I would have told Lisa to come down ASAP and been like, yo, let's check it for DOS just in case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we're through tw 12 pages and they were still on A's. How many games are there? B. All right, so let's go to like 30. Right, both of our other games are, are, are installed. Wow, 30 pages. There's a sh boatload of friggin' DOS games on here. Um, we're looking for like, let's try 60. What do we got? Jazz, Jazz Jack Rabbit. Use the search box. Do you think it's going to find it though? This is like we're kids. Oh, it does. It totally does. Um, I don't know if it's kid desk or kid desk. Uh, I don't see it. Well, that's tragic. But I know what Mick Kids is. If you guys know what Mick Kids is, it's a McDonald's game. Why? What happened here? Did I screw this up? Did something happen? I think I left the page. Let's reload the Jackie. Sorry, we gotta listen to children's music. I have no, I have no option here. Let me turn this off. I mean, I have the camera on. I just don't have the audio on. I just gotta keep an eye on. Oh, to Jackie Chan, is this your game? I'm Jackie Chan. This is my game. Oh, okay. That's good. No game pads detected. Can I skip this? Full screen. I don't think we're gonna be able to play like arcade. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. I've hit every single button on this controller. Each game has different. How do I play? There's no comments. I want you. I want you. All right. We you know what? We ain't playing it. We ain't playing it. It's not gonna happen. Jump start. Just, just grandma on me. Wait, what are these? I remember these characters. What books are these? I, think, I remember seeing books of these as a kid. Womp womp. Yeah, I know. I was hoping to play some Jackie Chan. I can probably find those on uh, emulator emulators that I have access to, and we can try Jackie Chan out at a later date. Um, but for now. We will have to switch gears to, let's try that, that, that tail and tooth and tail game. Um, tooth and tail. We're going to switch to category. This stream is going to be chopped up into so many little spots. There we go. And we're going to launch this bad boy. Um, here we go. Oh, I can play with my controller, that's nice. Oh, is it multiplayer? Oh, there is multiplayer. I'm just gonna hop into options and just drop the sound down a little bit. You check my sound levels. I wanna be able to see the chat as well. That looks pretty good. If that's too quiet, let me know. Back in the day, good old days when Caesar warnings weren't a thing. Oh, because of Jackie Chan flashing on screen. That was an arcade cabinet, too. So, like, if you gotta imagine, like, people walking through an arcade and you just see that. And then the kid drops to the floor because, you know seizures I told my son we won't work the farms no we won't eat the food of beasts we'll eat meat as any civilized animal does but when the civilized called a harvest and the city feasted on my boy we took to the warriors and lit the country aflame who 
decide the fate of animals. The long coats, the common folk, the KSR, or the civilized. Whoever triumphs will go hungry no more. Those who fall will be dinner. Are they eating themselves? Are they eating each other? Glengare on dress. This is a little wild for me. And on the audio levels, it does look loud for you guys, too. Alright, there we go. Alright, so... What are we doing? Are we fighting? Can I attack too? Burrow home. I don't want to burrow home. You can right trick or click. Click advance the whole tree. What is happening? The French rat revolution. Is this happening? We have to defend now, right? What are we looking for? Oh, we have to keep going this way. Oh my gosh! Am I able to attack these things? What, what is this game? Coming, fall back behind her defenses. This reminds me of uh, Lone Wolf, that game. What's the war game that you can control more than one instead of just controlling yourself? That uh, uh, Foxhole. This reminds me of Foxhole a little bit. I rally if I rally while next to an enemy my army will what I stand in a bullet hive and hold rally what is, is this the bullet hive stand next to the that bullet hive and hold rally is that the rally button Oh, is it like a linear? Oh my god. I can imagine that whoever plays this game online still is probably pro as all get out. Why can't I, I? I wish I could attack as well instead of just standing around holding a flag. This is okay, I guess. The long goats will feast. Oh, there's a time frame? I took it took me three minutes. Next page. Continue. Inspect. This is the dialogue, like, there's a bunch of, like, freaking, uh, these aren't even, those are, I'm like a rat guy, right? 
But that these things look like um, p p uh, a ferrets. Are these ferrets? How do I go? So I gotta talk to this guy, clearly. We already talked to him. Hmm. Oh, I see. Let me pick a mission. Okay, oh, this is like, oh, extra units. Attack is Building a warren. Now, well, this game feels different now. Other types as well. It's like a freight union costs 120 food. Oh, they're gathering food. Wait till my army arrive. I should scout for enemies. So should I like go? Oh my gosh, am I spawning things? Guys, I'm almost here. So if I hit this, I have Distillery Brothers. Time to go on the offensive. Oh shoot! Attack him. Kill their food, kill their food. I can't, I can't fight. Like, I just gotta stand here like a chump. Yeah. Here. How am I, how come my guy's not retreating? Kill him, don't just stand there. Your guy's like not willing to fight. Kinda. I feel like this game could be any refreshing shows. I can always ask for help. Yeah, you have to rally them in your position. Okay, I mean, I get it. Hey, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you have to have like a bunch of these? Your chance. Right. Rally them all up here. Now. So right trigger rallies all, left trigger rallies group. All units to dance. We got a flag. Attack them while I just take damage. Come on. Do we get to claim this water? Or? I don't think it's that in depth, is it? I feel like this is all still part of a story. Oh, we don't want to go here yet. Follow me. We're not going there yet. Oh, did they build back up? Oh, 
Kill this guy, kill this guy. Oh, what happened? They destroyed that first? They probably don't need to worry about those guys now. Keep it down! Kill him, kill him dead. I like how the pigs have little guns. The long coats will feast, that's us, right? Yeah, we have long coats, so. Uh, yeah, alright, I mean, this game's okay. I thought this game was going to be a little bit more different, like I was going to actually be doing shooting myself and then having like units or maybe clicking dragging more like an RTS. This feels like a weird RTS that's not an RTS, it's just like, I don't, I just don't know what it is. I just got pooping. Can't go in. When What's this guy doing? He's working. He's in a mole. He has a washroom. Is this a Canadian video game? Oh, this is the next quest. It was a bit of a problem. I have to defend the mill. Finish with 16 farms? Can't build that. How much do I need for a farm? No. Are these bad guys? No, these are my guys. Defend the grist and grist mill. I can't. How do I defend if I don't have men? Like, how do I? Can you fight? There's no buttons to fight. I can crouch. Unless, unless that. I wanted. Build farms to make your Christmas make. I can't. How do I build farms though? I don't have an option to build anymore. Your kinyat gishes. What am I building? Centuries? Oh. No. Oh, this is now a tower defense game. My economy. Build a hive. You're from I'm out of food. So is there room to me for me to build another farm somewhere? That's not long coat territory. I think I misplaced some of those things. Oh shit. I needed one more. I'm gonna survive, but I'm not gonna have all the farms that I want. What do you guys think? This is okay, I guess. Again, it feels kind of like... In, in this day and age... Oh, then you'll unlock the next section. In this day and age, a game like this is fun. But, like, there's so many other games you could be playing. 
I just, I don't know. Let's try, let's go try the fighter game while we're, while we've got some time, um, on the stream here. I will stop this. What do you think? It's not horrible. I think it's better than some of the other stuff we played. I still thought this game was a little different from when I saw gameplay before, like a couple years ago. This game is a little older, is it not? I want to say, yeah, 2017, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't remember just only being the flag bearer, or at least seeing that only you can run around as uh, a flag bearer and that's it. Um, I'll leave it installed. It wasn't that big of an install, I don't think. Um, all right, let's go to Skull Girls 2. Skull Girls 2. See how bad I'm at fight games. Skull Girls second encore. Oh, I saw it. It's one word. There it is. Okay. Got the controller ready, so we should be good for um, kicking some butt. I wonder if this is only local play, because my guess is probably only local play. There is an option for multiplayer. So we'll try our, our luck against the bosses, or the, uh, the AI. Yeah, remote play together. I've seen this game, I, I think I own a, the first one on PlayStation 3 or 4. Sounds like Cowboy Bebop, yeah. Turn it down a little bit. Uh, we'll keep all this the same. Back. Video settings is what we want. Uh, we want full screen. Can't, why, what is this? Can't they just give you a list? It's, it's getting smaller. It's The fact that it's getting smaller is stupid. Okay, we gotta go all over the way here. That's what we want right there. Full screen, stage, background. Oh, you can make it 3D. There, that's so much better. Command list, switch to beta. No, we're just gonna dive in. Versus single player, we'll do single player. Story arcade. Quick match. We'll do normal. Oh shit, there's a ridiculous night. Sleepwalk is probably where they just stand there. I like that difficulty mode. Um, we're gonna do a quick match first and then we'll see what the story line is like. Uh, select size. Two high power, one super powerful, three normal power characters. Oh, you can pick up how this works. Okay. Um, if you look at the top left, you can see the character model. Look at that big band as a character. That's crazy. Um, again, it's very much like a... It's a fighter. I, I want to say I was playing... Um, Beowulf. Our portion. Annie. I want to say I was playing this chick. No. No, no, no. Where is she? Yeah, this one right here. Julia! Let's go, Samson! Hell yeah! Up to hairball. I don't know what that is. And what do we got? What's our other person? Should we be the big guy? I feel like it's probably a bad idea. Let's try the big guy. Why not? Big Bam! Back on the beat. Oh, I get to pick the, the enemies. Let's Double! Your sins have no absolution. Okay. Cerebella! Can 
I'll turn down a fan. Oh, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, it's the level. Available in full version? What the fuck are we playing? This is not the full version of the game? Get out of here! Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! see the beginning of the storyline and it's a little loud still i don't understand why all some of these games are so freaking loud i'm looking at the levels and it's like bumping the yellows hardcore all right there we go that might be a little bit better How is there a story mode? Let's be the umbrella girl, Parasol. Parasol! Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the 5 o'clock Canopy Kingdom news. I'm Rachel Wong, reporting from our studio in the Rachel nation's... Wong. In our tops, new Meridian yeah, yeah, citizens yeah, yeah. are advised okay. to stay indoors, remain... Vi this newest incarnation of the Skull Girl has yet to be identified, but our sources within the NMPD say her victims seem to be connected with the... Lorenzo Medici, the most prominent of this powerful clan, has withdrawn from the public spotlight and is believed to have gone into hiding. Having just observed the seventh anniversary of the defeat of the previous Skull Girl, our kingdom's own Queen Nancy, Trinity, bless her soul. The what appearance of a this? new skull girl is a chilling event. I'm, I'm, I'm done. We, we, we was fighting this someone. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. The animations are great. She lost her head. Her head's in the ground. <laughs> Kind of slide combos, like you're like down forward, you're back forward, that kind of stuff seems to be pretty, pretty commonly working for things. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. She's like a cat. You can remove her head. She has no real side attacks. And all she has is this dumb umbrella. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. There we go. I 
Yeah. Here. I, I want to see the beginning of the story. Damn, skip, skip, skip. I wanted to see if, like... Dude, if I give up... You're under arrest. Come peacefully. You're under arrest. Everybody warmed up? Action! Be gone! Kill spin! the canine squad that I'm wearing this upside down cross between my boobies. For my kingdom. Wait, is it just going through people? Ladies and gentlemen, it's right. showtime! Showtime. <laughs> Don't get caught. Be gone. Out, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I think we found TJ's genre. Is this how the story ends? Is this how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it ends. Uh, yes. Is this the genre? To challenge the Skull Girl. I don't, I don't want to download content. No, thank you. All right. Well, there you go. Second encore. I wonder if that's an actual hardcore like. That's a sequel, or if that is just like an expansion or something. Because I don't understand why we saw that in there. It was like, you know, install the full game. Um, or it was like some of those levels weren't available in the, you know, it said must need full game or something. I don't I don't know what that was that about. Um, I'm, I'm really bad at, at fighter games. There's certain games that I'm really good at. Like if you play classic Mortal Kombat's with me, I'm pretty good, but... Um, I don't like try to. I don't like to button mash a lot of times. I try to figure out combos, and I think a lot of times that like if you're new to the game, and um, you're trying to learn combos, a lot of people like to try to look all that stuff up. And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to do that today, um, especially with the game that I'm probably gonna play once. Kyle is famous. Complete edition. Did we play this? We didn't play this. What is this? Oh yeah, I remember talk, seeing this. You just kind of pick. It says it's a take control of Carl in this text-based adventure game. We're not gonna do that. I remember seeing this though on the old internet. Beyond the stars, between the stars. Uh, we were here together. That was in a bundle. Do you have this game, Lone Wolf, the full version? Remember we we and I played uh, like the demo of one of them. And we remember I, we ran, like, we had to like pick to see if we could leave it together or something like that. I think I ran out by and left you behind, but I didn't realize what I was doing. I just thought I had to go forward. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have a copy of this. I guess we would see it. I guess it, I would see it on here if you did. Maybe maybe it's because you haven't played it in their library. I, mean, I guess you don't have it. There was a new one that came out. It was like we were here together forever or something like that. If it was bundled, I think so. Okay. I think it was bundled. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, uh, Freaking Sonic Adventure 2. What a game. I wonder if I have Sonic Adventure 1. Oh my goodness. 
Yes, I don't think so. I bet you we could install this pretty quick. Mixed reviews. What do you think? This looks hor this looks horrible. This is like you walking around in a freaking forest with a freaking metal detector looking for coins. Oh, there's an iron hook. All right, this is what we'll do. If you guys want to stick around, I'm going to hop into Discord. We'll end the stream now on the old Twitch side of things. And uh, we're going to try some games that are not Twitch friendly. How about we do that? I'll be able to, I'll be able to install this pretty quick, I think. Um, I was hoping that Lisa would be down here by now because I wanted her to possibly play like that uh, multiplayer puzzle game where you fit yourself the shapes. It's kind of like the Snipper Clips, but it's not Snipper Clips game that we have installed. We could share that, but she is not downstairs right now. So in that case, we're gonna play uh, inappropriate games. I think on the uh, the old the old the old discords. Um, I guess before we switch over to that, uh, I'll briefly talk about. Uh, retro, no green screen. I'll oh, look at that. That's not what I wanted. But look, I love that I have that. I spent some time tinkering with that idea. Look, it's my desktop. But it's in retro, weird filter mode. And that, the problem with that is, like, I, you know, that's a 4 by 3 ratio. So everything's really tightly fit in there, and some of it's cut off. Um, playing, playing games like this is kind of neat, though. Here's one with the green screen. This one's where it's got me overlaid and doesn't look as uh, as good but um, without the green screen piece. But this is fun and there's a little Cooper picture in the in the corner there. Uh, let's see, what else? We'll, uh, we'll go to this record, record cam small. So anyway, uh, I watched the Obi-Wan Kenobi stuff. If you haven't done so, I won't spoil anything. Um, I thought it was interesting that they decided to release two episodes up front. Um, I know they delayed the release originally that was supposed to come out a while back and so they felt bad and they decided to give you two um, i have a bunch of uh friends that are at the uh, star wars celebration right now got only got to episode one today okay cool i mean honestly um i think two is probably better than one um but i think they did a good job starting things off it's just disappointing knowing that there's only six episodes and that whole thing and I get like having you McGregor and mainly probably you and McGregor is probably fairly expensive, <laughs> fairly, fairly expensive to do what they're doing, but they, they have, I guess Hayden Christensen, I don't know how expensive he is, but um, not that he's like, you know, made an appearance yet, so to speak. So, but I mean, you know, he's in it at some point. I mean, Darth Vader is a thing. Um, I mean, all the advertising that they have for it, it's showing him, so they're going to have him in it at some point. Um, but knowing that there's only six episodes and they released two of them, two, or, 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 or I guess, you know, technically, what, a third of the show has already been released? <laughs> Floppa Lover 500 is now following. Woo. Thank you for follows. I appreciate the follows. Um... What, we, what does it say we're playing? We're playing. It says we're playing Skullgirls. Let me just change this to like just chatting really quick. Fucking stuff. And let it save. All right, cool. Um, we we uh, we watched both of the episodes back to back last night, and honestly, whenever doing that, it felt like one seamless thing for the most part. I know that there's credit at the end of the one episode. But they did a good job kind of like keeping it rolling. Um, and I'm hoping that the rest of the storylines feel that way too and they don't do anything jarring like they did with um, uh, Book, of, Book of Boba Fett where I feel like you're doing those flashback sequences and then what's going on right now and then they're doing like suddenly up oh, another flashback sequence and then here's what's going on now. 
Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I think they could have just fil- simply filmed everything in, in the order of, all right, show me everything post Sarlacc Pit when he comes out. Don't make them flashbacks. Just make it the storyline. And then have a flash forward of here he is running the shop, you know, Jabba's pa- palace, and then have him do his thing. I feel like the back and forth thing was a little too unnecessary. Maybe it helped make, make the show feel longer. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but back to Obi Wan, you know it's it's crazy to see you McGregor do Obi Wan again. Um, and if you haven't, if you're not like a super hardcore Star Wars fan, you you might not notice subtleties um, about those episodes. But there are so many little intricacies about things from all the shows and some of the movies. Um, so if you the um, the Skyhopper toy that you see, the little toy that he um, Obi Wan buys from the Jawa. And that's not really spoilers. He buys a toy from a Jawa. Okay, spoiler alert! If you don't know that, it's gonna happen at some point. It's not like vital to the storyline. But he buys his T T sixteen Skyhopper. I don't know the number. But if you remember in Episode Four, the original Star Wars film, you see Luke playing with that you know model toy. And the idea is like he, uh, Obi Wan bought that toy to like leave at the doorstep, at the at the farm location, and I won't spoil like the discussions that were had with that toy and blah blah blah. But you know that piece was a really cool callback when I saw that and he was buying it from the Jawa. I was like, that's cool. I like that. Um, there were other uh, cool subtleties as well that were referencing some of the animated show. Um, some of the characters and and things like that. Uh, And if you haven't watched the animated show um, for uh, Rebels, there's stuff that's going to happen in Episode 2, if you haven't watched it already, that you're going to be like, oh, that's a thing. That happened. And you're like, I I can't say anything else. I really can't. I I want to, but I won't. I know Ben hasn't watched it all. But if you haven't, if you haven't watched, if you, I'll say this: if you've watched Rebels, something happens in Episode Two that, like, if you watched Rebels, you know, like, what's going to happen. I guess we'll say. But then, if you haven't watched Rebels and you, you're working your way way through Rebels, okay, cool. Um, if you haven't watched all of Rebels or certain parts of Rebels, um, then something happens in Episode Two that you're like, oh shit, now what? I'll just keep it as vague as that. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, whenever I was talking to Lisa, because Lisa watched all of Rebels and all of Clone Wars, I watched, like, bits and pieces of both. I probably enjoyed um, Rebels more than Clone Wars. Um, but I, I didn't mind either one. But I think they do a good job with that show. I remember when they first came out, I was always like, Oh, that's a kid's show. Oh, that's, like, not what I want to watch. I want to watch the movies. I want live action. And to be honest, if you just give it a chance, it's pretty good. It's 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 an enjoyable experience. Like, the characters that you get to meet and know in Rebels, uh, as well as, like, Clone Wars, outside of, like, you know, Anakin, Anakin and, and Ahsoka and, uh, and Obi-Wan and stuff like that, the, the, the big staples. There's other characters that you meet along the way that kind of make the world seem bigger. And I think they do that good job with that with Obi-Wan and, and some of the other shows. I heard that there was a Mandalorian three season three trailer that came out at, at celebration. I have not seen that. I, I haven't Googled for it yet, but I know that, like people were talking about the Andor trailer. I watched that Andor trailer and it felt more like they were trying to shove star Wars into some other weird sh- show i don't know what was going on it felt like i was watching not lord of the rings but like the, the planet that they were on if you watched the trailer it was like it didn't feel star wars enough until they started showing some of the ships and you're like oh yeah star wars that's a thing that's this is in star wars land in star wars universe whatever you want to say um and lisa was scratching her head like trying to remember who andor was um so cassian I think it's cassian andor i think it is he's one of the characters from rogue one and if you haven't watched Rogue One, you know how that ends. Uh, or you haven't watched it, Rogue One, you should go watch it. If you do, if you have seen it, you know how it ends. So, you know, 
is Cassian vital? I guess uh, to some degree. Um, I am not super excited for the Cassian show, the Andor show, whatever. But I'll watch it anyway because it's Star Wars. I feel like at this point, I'll watch pretty much anything Disney throws out that's Star Wars because they've done such a good job with um, Mandalorian. Did they do a good job with Bo- Book of Boba Fett? I was okay. I wasn't a huge fan, but it was still fun. Um, I, you know, as somebody who does like 501st and Rebel Legion costuming, I think it's always fun whenever you have maybe more of the live action, new Star Wars material coming out. Oh, excuse me. Because there's always more to the universe that you're getting to learn about. There's more costumes. There's more like takes on things. I'll watch Andor, but I don't, I don't have many feels about it. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel. Um, I think they're staging it more of like a like an espionage type thing, like more of a spy thing. Um, and so with Book of Boba Fett, it felt like, you know, honestly, I was expecting more Godfather vibes, more like, it felt like this kind of cheap gang warfare. And then when, when, um, a few episodes just felt like Mandalorian 2.5, season 2.5. It just felt like it started falling flat on its face. Um, whereas I think Mandalorian's been doing an excellent job for both seasons so far. And, you know, again, I'm, I mean, there's, there's, what, there's one for Ahsoka, I think, right? Uh, coming out at some point as well. And then they announced something else at Celebration that was tied to another uh, live action. And it was, I forget the name, but it had some cheesy name. Um, Star Wars Celebration 2022 announcements. Um, there was, a, there's a bunch of new costumes in, in those movies. My, back to my point. So like, you know, when you're in like Star Wars costuming, it gives you so many like, different options to pick you know back whenever rebel legion and and 501st first started uh, i guess 501st specifically because it's older um you know you really had you know the prequels and and you had like the original trilogy for a very long time that that was it you know that was all you got so the the costume options were pretty limited compared to what's happening now with all these new live action tv shows um I guess they're kind of TV shows. They're segmented streaming service type things. Um, let's see. What else did they show? Oh, yeah. So they announced Jedi S- Survivor, which was, I guess, you know, the sequel to, um, you know, the Jedi uh, Fallen Order game, which if it's the same gameplay, I mean, it'll be okay, I guess. I, I'm I'm this. When are they going to make KOTOR 3, like proper KOTOR 3? I know they're doing the reboot of KOTOR, and I'm excited for that. I'll, I'll buy into that. Oh, yeah, Skeleton Crew is the name of the other thing. Announced for 2023. It's got Jude Law in it. Um, um, created by Spider-Man's no, Spider-Man No Way Home, No Way Home's John Watts and Christopher Ford. Um, Skeleton Crew follows a group of 10 year old kids from a small planet who get lost in a galaxy far, far away and must try to find their way home. Uh, the story will be taking, will take place after Return of the Jedi and will fit in the timeline of uh, Mandalorian and Ahsoka. I don't know. So they also announced uh, Mandalorian Season 3 is coming in 2023, February 2023. Um, so that's the ways out. And I tell you what, it's been Ian McDermott on whether or not Palpatine will appear in Obi-Wan. He says, quote, don't get your hopes up. That's, you know, fair enough. That's fine. You don't have, I mean, you got to think about it. Like the Emperor, you never see the Emperor until episode, uh, episode five. Well, the second film in the original trilogy. Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation. Okay, that's a stream thing, whatever. Indiana Jones 5 really revealed at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, okay, are you guys excited about Indiana Jones? 
I don't know if I am. If, uh, after watching the last Indiana Jones, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, well, almost like no. Um, I don't need it anymore. I think three after three is good. And Indiana Jones ended with three. And you know what? Like, Sean Connery is no longer with us. Uh, so... I don't... I think Sean Connery and, and Harrison Ford combo was was great was great um yeah star wars is getting a new uh, getting a new show called high republic kids it's a kids show on disney plus and disney junior aimed at pre-kindergarten children furthermore is set during the high republic era well i'm excited for that at least because i have a little boy who uh might get into it i don't know Oh yeah, they also uh, showed a new trailer for Willow. There's a sequel to Willow, the old 1988 film Willow. Uh, I haven't watched Willow since I was probably a kid, uh, and I say a kid, I was like elementary school age. I was probably it was probably like 93 or 94 is probably when I saw Willow, and at that point it's been out for a few years. And you know, as a kid that young, a lot of that stuff, that movie, I think that movie was originally like over two hours long. I want to say it was pretty long too. And so I guarantee I wasn't fully paying attention during the whole entire thing. And I, I, I want to say I was watching with my uncle, who was you know big Lord of the Rings fan, that kind of stuff. So, of course, it kind of fit into that space. Um, but it looks like the new show is like an episodic thing. And I think it's because, like... Disney is now like not is they're kind of afraid to make movies unless they're doing something with Pixar or some other studio. They want to just like make these like Disney Plus streaming type things and then they're, they're, it feels like I feels like I mean Disney's a huge company and they have way more than just Disney Plus cuz they got the parks, they got the the merch, they got you know all these other pieces of like things that they own like Fox and and things like that but like Disney Plus seems to be a very big focus for them and trying to get people to pay for their streaming service because then they just lump everything there and they're like, oh, you want to watch that exclusive Willow thing? You want to watch the Star Wars? Well, it's got to be here. And, uh, I don't know. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lord's uh, release date is announced for Nintendo Switch on June 8th. So I guess uh, Old Republic song. I think, I think I might have Old Republic on my Switch. Maybe not. Um... If you haven't played Star Wars The Old Republic and you're like, you love Star Wars games or Star Wars in general, it's an older game. You should try them out, especially before the remake comes out. Oh, shoot. High Republic, Jedi Centuries before. Okay, so more books for High Republic. Oh, it's a comic book. Um, some more figure stuff. Uh, some stuff about Obi Wan coming out. Oh, yeah, you know what? That, you know what's cool? And that's the other thing, too, is John Williams. Was there at celebration doing um, the? I think he played a ton of music, not a ton, but he played music for Indiana Jones Five, as well as um, uh, Obi Wan as well. So he, because he wrote the Obi Wan theme. Yeah, you know, I feel like I mean, the dude's like over ninety. It's it's so impressive that he's uh, still writing music and and like conducting music. It is wild. Um, let me, while we're talking here, I'm going to pre-install this other game because this game is about 15 gigs and a game, this game we will not be playing on, on Twitch, but I will install it. Uh, so again, I guess any other wrap up, uh, just before we bail, I know we were just chatting before we hop into the discord and I might not even play this game super long. I, I've been pretty tired just in general. Well, work's been extra busy for me. I've been I took on a side project that I just finished up on Friday. We've got a software release coming up on Tuesday night, and uh, I'm ready for a vacation. <laughs> Even though I don't want to spend money on a vacation because we spent so much money on freaking windows for the, you know, the house, which thankfully I only have to pay like half the money down right now. I'm still waiting for all that stuff to be in stock before we. Uh, have to pay the rest of the money Lisa and I I was trying I was telling her like I'd like to go just go to the beach oh 
Oh, another thing I was thinking about doing too, uh, outside of the old. Um, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about there's a lot of Memorial Day, Day sales going on right now, so I was thinking about buying a new desk. I have a like a cheaper desk that we've had for since we almost I think pretty much since we moved here. Um, we we ordered them because we didn't have we only had the one computer desk back in the day. So we bought two identical desks uh, for Lisa and I to have a place to like work and play games and whatever else. And I have like a, a dedicated on the right hand side like three drawers where um, that kind of requires you to sit kind of off center from your desk. So you have like the left of your desk and then you have the right, which is where the drawers are. And with my computer mount set up where I've got my monitor and my monitor here on the right, um, I've got my drawer here too, so it's kind of hard to sit center on this desk, and I'm always banging my knees against the, the drawer and, and all that. So I was thinking about buying a, a more, because again, Memorial Day sales um, at, are, are crazy right now. Uh, one of those kind of the standing desks, not that I want to stand all the time, it's one of those ones you can press a button and you can like raise it up and lower it, and it doesn't have any cabinetry just so I can get my desk a little bit higher off the ground because I wish it was like another three to five inches off the ground. And uh, there are like some really good sales right now. But it's one of those things where it's like, do you want to spend the money on a freaking desk? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know. But like, if I don't buy them now, then the sale is going to be over. And then I probably won't buy one for like another, you know, till another big sale comes out. So maybe I should just, just do it. Nike, Nike swoosh. All right, how's this game coming along? Oh, this game is uh, probably not super popular, so it's downloading like garbage. But it's moving. It's going about 13 megs, 13 megs a second, which is still kind of slow. But yeah, lots of friends. Uh, again, people that I know in the legions are. Um, Are there at celebration i know uh, a couple that i know that were from the pittsburgh area uh, just recently got engaged there I actually made it on to their star wars celebration like news feed like star wars's main news feed for the celebration uh, announced their engagement because they actually proposed to each other at a rebel legion photography like meetup and uh, they met it right in rebel legion like way way back in the day like, i think before i was even in rebel legion or not sorry 501st which was like 2016 and um i thought it was kind of neat that they they both actually proposed to each other like she proposed to him and then he actually was prepped to do the same thing um around like at the same time pretty much so they both had rings for each other right there which was kind of neat um not that they got married but they they got you know they had like pretty much engagement rings that were star wars themed for each other which i thought was cool um how are we doing on the download here? So the, 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 the compressed version of this game is uh, six, six gigs. And we're at about three gigs right now. I'm going to uninstall this other one here. I was thinking about playing some Final Fantasy XIV tonight. Uh, I do need to finish that up. Like mentally, like I'm at the dungeon, the next step of the dungeon stuff. And I just feel like I got to get back into the, you know, preparation of understanding how to play that, uh, play a character uh, and do the rotation so I don't like just have people get disappointed in me. And I know I can play with the AI, but that's just nowhere near as, as fun in my opinion. It seems, I think I think it was told also by, by Lone Wolf that it was slower paced. Ah, oh, my goodness. There's so many good photos of people at Star Wars Celebration. We, we went to, Lisa and I went to celebration that was it, like 2016 the one that was in florida and and i've talked about that before on, on maybe on stream a little bit but like in general with folks and it is super fun like it was such a good time and um i think anaheim was probably extra fun too mainly because of so many different announcements uh, and it's always fun to see the live action, like the real deal, 
costumes that they used in filming. And a lot of people that are in the different costuming legions will just stand there and just take tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons, and tons of photos. Like this, all like this, literally from top to bottom, like all kinds of crap up close, away, like the whole thing. Because there's so many people that try to like even recreate the, you know, find the exact material um, down to like the coloration and all that stuff. So. Um, Whenever there's a Star Wars celebration like that, um, people are very serious about getting getting good photos. Oh, this is fun. I like this. This is the kind of stuff, and it's funny. Star whatever Star Wars always is. If you ever want to be a Force ghost, all you got to do is this. That's all you got to do. Just head for Jedi costume and put like I guess light blue mesh netting all around your body and boom you're a force ghost that's crazy okay we are at 90 percent complete on this game all right we'll wrap it up here if you want to stick around we're going to jump into discord just chill for a little bit play this game it's not going to be work appropriate it's not going to be kid appropriate it's not going to be stream appropriate so we're going to stop on the old Twitch here and, and play that for maybe a little bit. Maybe Lisa will come downstairs while, while I'm mid play and she'll be like, what the heck are you playing TJ? This is inappropriate. You're not streaming this, are you? And I'll say no. Um, I just finished. Okay. Well, this is my Facebook feed. I'm glad I, I switched that over, but all right, Ben, thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Two or three is one. All right, Ben, uh, Lone Wolf, anybody else who's stopped in, thank you all for hanging out for a little bit. And we'll see you guys next week. I'll be a little bit more prepared next week. Today was uh, was insane. So thanks all. Have a great night.